Hello YouTubers. In this video I will talk about how to save memory while using data type string. Please do not forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. A variable of data type string saves several characters in a character string. String can consist of up to 254 characters. Using a lot of string type variables may lead to the shortage of the memory. How to avoid it? Let's find out. I have an empty instance data block that occupies about 108 bytes of working memory. Let's add one variable of type string. Memory usage increased to 364 bytes. Let's add another variable of type string. Memory usage increased to 620 bytes. What about adding way much more? Let's try it. I am about to add an array that contains 300 strings. Let's have a look at the resources window. As you can see, impact on the usage of the memory is huge. This one instance block uses 77,420 bytes. And my working memory is almost used up, less than 20% are free. Couple of more and you will run out of memory. I will write some program where maximum length, used count of characters and unused count will be calculated. Let's try to write something to our string. As an example I will write 6 characters. Here I will get the maximum count of the characters of the string. Here I will get the count of used characters. Here I will calculate how much unused characters are. As you can see, maximum count of characters is 254. Used characters are 6. Unused characters are 248. Only less than 10% of memory is used, while more than 90% are empty, but your working memory is reserved for 254 characters. With this setup more than 90% of the memory are wasted. How to save the memory? Well, data type string contains 254 characters. Using it you need to ask yourself, do you really need so much? In 99 out of 100 cases the answer would be no. 
What can you do? You can limit the length of your string to some fixed length. For example let's try to limit the length of all of our strings to 10 characters. To do that you need to declare the string as follows. Let's find out what the impact to usage of the working memory has been done. As you can see the impact is huge, the usage of the memory dropped down dramatically. Instead of 81% it dropped down to 9%. Instance data block uses only 3740 bytes instead of 77420. Let's monitor the calculations. Now we have a string of 10 characters where 6 are used and 4 are unused. By now I am sure, that my string will be maximum of 6 characters, so I can simply set 6 as the length of the string. As you can see, the length of my string is 6, the used characters are 6 and unused are 0. The usage of the working memory is optimized. But please be caution, too short string will cause you a problem. Let's try to limit the length of the string shorter than we try to assign count of characters. As soon as I set length of string to 5 I do get error, because instead of 5 characters I try to assign 6. I'll change it back to 6. Everything looks fine now. What about the situation, where you get a string from some remote partner, but only first 6 characters are important for you? Well, in that case, you can assign one variable of type string, store the values to that variable and delete unnecessary characters. Let's have a look at the example. Here I use instruction called delete. This instruction deletes amount of characters from your string starting on specific characters index. I do want to save first 6 characters and delete all is left, 254 minus 6 is 248.
As you can see, all the strings in the array of strings contains the value of the temporary string trim to 6 characters. That is that what I wanted to show you today. If this video was useful, please do not forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and happy coding.